And this is on. Wow. Normally I don't use a mic, but uh, I guess I'll use this tonight. My name is Keith Hansen. Um, I, most of you know me as the, uh, the host of the Morning Drive talk show on WNTK and WUVR, uh, both uh, First Look with Keith Hansen and then the aptly named Keith Hansen Show. Um, I bring into that program often the other life that I live be, out from behind the, the radio mic. Um, which is a, a federally certified active shooter response tactical counterterrorism instructor uh, and also a SWAT medic trainer. I train SWAT medics, uh, the individuals, the, the, the life-saving techniques that they need. So if they're dealing with gunshot wounds, bomb blast victims, things like that, they have the skills necessary to be able to treat those people in the field, whether it's members of their own team or individuals that get injured um, uh, private citizens if it's a mass shooting and, and they're the first responders. Um, and we're going to clarify that as well too, that term first responder. And we're going to clarify who really is a first responder and who is a secondary responder. Um, so I've been a firearms instructor for 15 years, law enforcement uh, officer for 15 years, federal contractor, uh, doing uh, four terms uh, with the Department of Defense. Um, so a, a lot of experience in terms of the training aspect. I'm also part of a consortium of national instructors that we look at what are called the after action reviews. When there is a mass shooting, there is a mass killing that takes place. There is an awful lot of uh, investigative documents and videos and, and uh, uh, first-hand accounts, witness testimonies, things like that. We review those documents and all of those after action reviews so we can look at what's being trained right now and say, how can we change this? How can we modify training curriculums? How can we augment what we're teaching these individuals now, these first responders now, so that way they're, they're better at their jobs? So that way they're, we don't wind up in a situation where we're being caught with our proverbial pants down when these first responders get to that scene. And I can tell you, you know, there's a lot of things that we're doing differently that we weren't doing five years ago. And unfortunately, there's a lot of things that we're doing in the exact same fashion because we're largely reactionary. Um, so. My aspect tonight, I'm going to bring to you the active shooter perspective, and we're going to talk about it by the numbers, because this is one of the most greatly distorted pieces of information, especially by the mainstream media. The mainstream media would have you believe that there is an active shooter situation in a school seven times a day, every day for the past five years, and the numbers just don't suggest that. So we're actually going to look at it by the numbers, and that's where we're going to open up the dialogue as well. So thank you for being here, everybody. Thank you all very much.